and welcome to Words of Power, where we are talking about the Word of God, which helps us live victorious, prosperous lives. Today we're delving into Isaiah 1 and 19, and we're going to look at a couple of translations, and we're going to talk about this and how this is going to bless us to be willing and obedient. Start with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We bless you. We honor you. You are a matchless God who is magnificent in all his ways. We desire to be like you, Father God. We know that we are in human forms, but you have made us in your image. That may we may rest in you, and as we decrease, you increase. May your presence in our lives overflow, that we may see the full manifestation in your, of your power in this lifetime. You said if you be high and lifted up, you will draw all men into your bosom. We are waiting for that day that you return, your son returns on a white horse, Father God. But in the meantime, we are preparing for your arrival. We're praying for the lost souls to come in. We're studying your word of God. We're laying our life down, lives down so that we may feel the fullness of you in this earth, Father God, that again, we may decrease as you increase. Lord, if there's anyone that's sick and shut in, in need of healing in this hour, that you being Jehovah Rapha will heal them at this hour. They will be miraculously healed, Father God. You'll send them to the doctor and they'll have recovered. And we believe in medicine, Father God. If you have some, you know, words specifically for them of wisdom, that they may hear it in this hour and know what to do. You will not leave them ignorant of the enemy's devices. They will know how to jump over a wall. They will know how to leap over a troop. They will know how to do everything that you have called them to do because you love them and you've designed them to walk in power according to Acts 1 and 8 through the power of the Holy Spirit who has come that we might have life through the Holy Spirit. Jesus died that we might have life and more abundantly, but the Holy Spirit lives inside of us giving us life. Uh, we pray for healing to abound all people that's inner healing, mental healing, healing of the ligaments, healing of the knee, if there's any sort of arthritis in the knee, that would be healed at this hour. Lord God, we know that you can do anything that we ask in your name according to your will. Matthew 18 and 19, if two on earth agree on anything, they will have what they say. We're standing in agreement on the healing power to go forth at this hour to heal all the people that need healing, Father God, according to their faith. Let it be done unto them. It's not always a miracle, Father God, we know that, but we believe that however you want to do their healing, it is done at this hour. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So let's take a look at Isaiah 1 and 19. It says in the New International Version, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. Wow, what a powerful promise. Let's look at the Amplified. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the best of the land. I love this. We're going to eat the good of the land. But we're also going to eat the best of the land. And so I love how the Amplified just took it uh, that one step up so we can see God is so awesome. We want to be willing and obedient. So let's take a look at the background behind the scriptures. We want to do that because we want to make sure we're looking at the scriptures in context. We really want to um look at the context to make sure that we're seeing the background of what the author and what the people who are receiving this word at that time what was going on for them so in the book of isaiah at the time isaiah takes place there was a crisis in the northern kingdom of israel assyria was about to take over the kingdom of israel so isaiah writes this prophetic book about the messiah who's going to come to earth and do many things and isaiah is going to prophesy to that but he's also going to give some words specifically for the people of this time amen so one of the important things to take away from isaiah 1 and 19 is that god he delights in our obedience and we're going to take a look at that in first samuel 15 and 22 in a separate video you're going to want to take a look at that because it's going to pair well with this so when that comes out, make sure you take a look at 1 Samuel 15 and 22. It may already be out at the time that you're watching this. Amen? So God delights in our obedience. He desires that you would do the right thing because it blesses you. God, his commandments are to bless us. When he asks us to love our neighbor as ourselves, that blesses us because then each one is treating the others as they ought to be treated. 
When he asks us to lay down our lives and take up our cross and follow him, it blesses us because he knows what to do. He's sovereign. He's holy. He has all the information. So it's not about serving him in this uh, metrodome and this uh, big fancy way in order to just bless him. He knows that he has the answers. He wants you to live a prosperous life. So he has called you to submit to his will so you may be blessed. So God desires that we would serve him wholeheartedly. If we do so, there will be blessings forevermore. God is a gracious God and he is merciful. We do know that and we'll keep that in mind with this. His mercies are new every morning. In Isaiah 1, 10 through 15, Isaiah mentions the sacrifice that the people of Judah are making. But these are religious sacrifices and burnt offerings, but their heart is not with, it's not in the, what they're doing. Their heart is far from God. Amen. They continue to sin, but they were doing these religious sacrifices and ceremonies, but it didn't benefit them. There was no reward because their hearts were not right. And God looks at the inner appearance. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God judges. He looks at the heart. So Isaiah 1 and 19, this is our key verse. It was a petition for Judah to turn back to righteousness and turn away from the wicked ways and the rebellion that they were in. It was for them to turn to the one and true living God. And if they did this, God would bless them. But if he didn't, if they didn't turn back, there would be curses promised for them. Amen. So when you repent, and that's the key thing, and turn from, repent means to turn away from something and turn to something else. God can bless that. And again, he's going to, he can still bless you even when you're making a mistake, but we don't want to stay there. The scripture says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. And that's what we desire. So let's do this. We're going to have a short prayer of repentance where we can go before God and ask him to purify and cleanse our hearts. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for allowing us to repent, allowing us to go before you. We repent of all wickedness. We repent on uh, behalf of those that we love as well. If they've done something, Father God, we stand in the gap and ask for you to forgive them, to not bring it upon their head. We know that you are gracious, Lord. We love you and we thank you for being uh, a God that is merciful, that your mercies are new every morning. We thank you, God, that you have delivered us from all evil and that you desire for us to walk in righteousness. Help us live a holy life, Father God. We know our righteousness is as filthy as bloody rags, but God, you do desire that we pursue holiness, as you mentioned in the scriptures, that we pursue righteousness. Help us to do that. We are weak in our own flesh, but we are strong in you. We know that you can help us if we turn back and we choose to turn our hearts towards you, you will help us. So God, forgive us for any sin. We know that you're righteous to forgive. Thank you, Lord, that we walk in righteousness our sins are forgiven forevermore they're as far as the east is from the west they are drowned into the river we will remember them no more but only as a testimony to you of our deliverance will we mention the things that we have overcome through your righteousness so we do not receive any condemnation from the enemy for our sins you have forgiven us and so we will not allow the enemy to cast down any thoughts of condemnation any thoughts of uh, deliverance not manifesting we refuse to receive that we know lord father god that you are a deliverer and if we have to come again and receive deliverance we know that repentance is to be done uh continuously daily father god so we thank you lord that you have forgiven us in jesus mighty name amen go your way that you are blessed be healed be whole go towards god wholeheartedly you are forgiven of your sins be blessed as you walk out your faith as you walk out your journey under the salvation of the one and true living God.